Hi there. Roshan's father is a botany professor. He is a great gardener and has several plants in their garden that have bright, colorful and beautiful flowers. Roshan often observes bees and butterflies moving from one flower to another. But the bees never go to the small or pale looking flowers. They are just attracted to large and beautiful flowers. He wondered why this was. He went to ask his father about it. His father said that bees and other insects are important agents of pollination. Confused, Roshan asked his father, what's pollination? Pollination is a process in which the pollen grains of a flower are transferred to the stigma of a flower. It is of two types, self-pollination and cross-pollination. If the pollen grain of a flower is transferred to the stigma of the same flower or of a different flower of the same plant, we call it self-pollination. But if the pollen grains of one flower of a plant are transferred to the stigma of the flower of another plant, we call it cross-pollination. How are the pollen grains transferred from one flower to another? Rohan asked. Do they have wings? His father explained that pollens can transfer through different agents like the bee. When a bee collects nectar, pollen grains get attached to the bee. When the bee goes to the next flower, the pollen grains get attached to the stigma. These flowers are called entomophilous flowers because entomo means insects and phileus means affinity. These flowers usually have large bright petals, a nice fragrance and produce nectar to attract insects. Do all flowers pollinate through insects? No. The pollens of some flowers are so small and lightweight that they are carried by the wind. The pollens reach the stigma via wind and thus pollination takes place. Such flowers are called anemophilous flowers as anemo means wind and phileus means affinity. Since these flowers don't need to attract insects, they do not produce nectar and they are not attractive in terms of color and fragrance. But what about plants in water? Aquatic plants produce small lightweight flowers that are water resistant and can float on water. Sometimes the male flowers float on the water and reach the female flowers and exchange the pollen grains. As hydro means water and phileus means affinity, such flowers are called hydrophilous flowers. Now Rohan knows more about pollination. Time for you to go and do the same. Until next time.